What's up, Leo? This is mid-March to the end of March of 2019. I am making this about love this this time. I don't normally. Oh, I'm gonna hurt. Okay. <clears throat> um, trying to keep my dress off the tattoo. Let's brush. Starting the rest of my chest piece. And it's hard to find clothes. <laughs> so we're on it. Sorry, sorry. Anyways. We're going to start out, hello I'm Brandy by the way, for people uh, that are new, I am Brandy, okay, and I have not pre-laid out these cards like I normally do, so we're just rolling with it this time, for your love and romance, okay, it could be love of yourself or love of another person, could be past, could be present, could be future, okay, spirit's not organized, I'm just here to try to give you a message. And it's gender neutral, this is for Leo. Okay, we have a card for Leo regarding love and romance. I actually need pretty spare, so. Love and light, love and light, love and light. Help me get the message. If you weren't there when I needed you, what would I do? Ah, I hate that. <laughs> Chemistry, express your love, and soulmate. Hmm. There is a strong magnetic attraction to someone that you are already uh, going around. And you should go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And yeah, this could be definitely the one for you, okay? The yin and the yang here. Now. I do feel like there's a little resistance though in someone, right? I feel like there's resistance and someone's trying. Someone is trying to express themselves. Can you give me another card for Leo, please? Regarding love and romance. Leo, someone And they gave me two. Faith in the process and legacy of light. So, don't try to rush anything, okay? You just need to make the gesture because what's meant to be will be. And you may feel like you're alone in this. Like they don't feel the same because like I said, there's a little resistance. But they're going to come around. And your spirit guides are helping you see this. Okay. They're not going to let you spend the rest of your life. Now, those are always on you. Because if you're in a bad relationship and you refuse to leave, that is on you. Because someone will always help you. Okay. Even your spirit. Maybe that's I felt inclined to say that. So you need to have faith and depend on your friends, your family, and your intuition. I think that's for someone general out there. But other than that, yeah, don't let them don't let them handle you improperly. All right, but you are being divinely guided to this person. So I said, don't rush it. There's no need to rush it. Because what's meant to be will be. So just express yourself and how you feel. And if they're resistant to it, set them free. I believe that's what the bird kind of means. And the light here. Because what's meant to be will always return to you. Matured, hopefully. And ready. And maybe you're not completely ready either. But there is chemistry there. 
And it's okay to always tell someone how you feel. Just don't be like crazy about it, okay? <laughs> and don't like do it out of the blue because this is telling me that this could be the one. But just be careful. Somebody out there is someone out there is confusing soulmate with being mistreated. That's not for everyone. That's literally like a general message. I'm going to move on. My home is my castle. You have built the walls up in your home because people have left you down so much. And you. this is your sanctuary. Okay, your home, your spirit, your essence, your private space, your, your den, your man cave, your, your library, whatever. You have a space. That's where you feel most powerful. Because people have let you down. I think that's why it's telling you to go ahead and make a romantic gesture. Because you've got yourself so guarded, Leo. Okay. Because you need to breathe the elixir of life in. You need to have a little more fun. You need to experience some things, okay? You need to flirt. There's a lot of passion here. She's trying to breathe in the passion to refuel herself. His self, whomever. Whomever. You feel like they may not reciprocate this. Like I said, if they're meant to be, they are going to. A little hesitant at first because they may be scared as well. Right? I want more clarification on faith in the process. Oh my god. My god, these cards flying everywhere. Three fell out like as soon as I even went. They like jumped out. Which is the six of cups, the four of cups. And the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Swords is stuck. It's like a King Arthur and the stone and the sword type thing. Only the true can pull this out. Only the person who is truly meant to fill your cup, your soul, can pull this, this sword out and give clarity and give love. That's what I get from this. King Arthur and the Sorcerer's Stone. There you go. Only King Arthur is going to be able to come along and pull this, this sword out and bring clarity and peace and everything to the kingdom of Leo. <laughs> They're going to fill that cup up. Because you've got plenty of cups in front of you. You're like, I, I. You come along and pull this sword out and they're like, oh. Who's that? Okay. They're the ones that's going to pull you out of this, uh, I don't know, I don't know, pull you out of your castle, right? Hope you have faith, because you're just trying to, you're lost in like, what ifs, I think. You shouldn't do that. Can I please have more clarification on faith in the process? Love and romance for my Leos, please, without flying everywhere. <laughs> King of Pentacles, faith in the process. Can I please have another card? I feel like the King's crown in this card has been misplaced, like your faith. Because of past hurt, loss, That's why you're needing faith in this. And you have a decision with the Two of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. And strength. Strength to have. With the faith. You need to put that crown back on and realize that you are your own stability. The strength card. She's naked. And she's already tamed the lion. And the lion is like her protector, which... I feel it's just you. I don't. I know it's not going to like focus completely sadly. But this is it. She's like naked. She's tamed that beast. She's tamed that hurt. That lost. 
she's learning to get some faith. She's making decisions. She knows which way she wants to go. Okay, you need to take that. You need to take that journey with the three of cups coming out. This is fulfillment with the six of wands. This is movement. Seven of wands, you feel that's all right. What I'm getting here is you have been within yourself, Leo, about a person that you already know. And you are so protective of your heart now, you're not sure if you should let them in. But life's saying, it's okay. Okay? You need to express your feelings to this person that you've been hanging around. I think because they've been hanging around you, they feel the same. They're just a little terrified, and that's where the strength needs to come in. You need to have faith in the process. All right? The song, every... <laughs> Kill me, the pretty reckless. Every day I wake up alone. All right? That's because you've locked yourself into the fortress, but you need to breathe a little bit of the elixir of life, huh? Make make the effort. Even though that card didn't come in. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> Even though that card didn't come in. You need to make the effort. I mean, don't trust everyone. Don't open up your everything to everyone. <sighs> but you are definitely capable of bringing in someone who is good for you. That is your Ten of Cups. Okay? Stand in your power. Take your crown back. Maybe I shouldn't use this tiny deck because it like literally spills everywhere. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry if someone's hurting out there. Okay? Don't be so reclusive. Let's see what the angel postcards have to say for you, Leo. Regarding love and romance. Can you please back up this message? You see that, right? They're like flying. Dare you. There's always more than one side to an argument, two sides if not more to every story, and hundreds of ways to be right, be different, be at odds, and so on. Today, we suggest that instead of looking for differences, you find a meeting place of agreement and approach this experience with understanding and compassion. Seek a common ground to understand how another person thinks or how an alternate plan might be laid. Stay out of judgment too. Observe, discern, but accept that others have different stories, experiences, journeys, and some people might refuse to remain open to another's point of view. I think that's coming because I said I see a little um, resistance. Right, you're not really sure how to approach this person, but you do need to express yourself. Okay, they're just a little hesitant right now. No matter what, you've been presented with a great opportunity to explore a new way of doing things once common ground is reached. I believe that's the elixir of life, right? It's going to breathe life back into you. You're attracting people in situations that enrich your life and bring you wonderful things to learn. And I think that is the King of Swords being pulled out here, like King of Arthur here, which are Six of Cups, your Four of Cups, right? Remember, differences are good. You don't want someone who's super boring for you, all right? I'm going to leave it at that. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I purposely did love and romance. And I'll catch you on the flip side, Leo.